Hi there. Now in this video, what I want to do is show you how we can go about simplifying expressions like you see here. And quite often, there's always a common mistake that's made. For instance, with this one, 6x plus 8 all divided by 4, it's very common to see people cancel out, say, the 4 into the 8. Or, say, with this one here, to cancel out these 2x squareds. It just doesn't work. And to demonstrate this, before we get into these, I just want to go back to a numerical example. Let's suppose we had, say, 8 plus 10, and this was divided by, say, 2. Nice easy sum to do here. 8 plus 10 is 18, and if we divide that by 2, we clearly get 9. But Suppose we did something like this, 8 plus 10 divided by 2, the same sum again, but this time decided, say, to cancel the 2 into the 8. 2 into 2 goes once, and 2 into 8 goes 4 times. What we're left with is 4 plus 10, which is 14, divided by 1, so it's still 14. And so you can see this is clearly wrong. You might think, well, OK, I'll do the same sum again, 8 plus 10 divided by 2, only this time let's cancel the 2 into 2 goes once and cancel it into the 10 to give me 5. But this 2 turns out to be wrong. You end up with 8 plus 5, which is 13, divided by the 1, so it's still 13. And it's certainly not 9, so clearly wrong. But there is a way that we can do questions like this, apart from this method up here. Let's take 8 plus 10 again, all divided by 2. Only this time, across these two terms here, we've got a common factor. We can factorise it. There's a common factor of 2. I could pull 2 outside of a bracket and say 2 times 4 gives me the 8. And then... 2 times plus 5, well, that gives me the 10. And this is all divided by 2. And this time, what I've got is that these two terms on the top here have been reduced down to one term consisting of two factors, the 2 and what is essentially 9 here, 4 add 5. And so if I cancel out common factors, I can cancel out this factor of 2 into this factor of 2, which goes once. And so what I'm left with is that it equals 4 plus 5. And 4 plus 5 is clearly 9. So this is an alternative way of doing this question here, by factorising. So when it comes to a question like this, where we've got 6x plus 8 all divided by 4. We've got two terms on the top, and what we cannot do is make the mistake like this, okay, where we cancel, say, the 4 into, say, the 8. What I've got to do is try and reduce the top to one term by factorising it. And I can factorise this by pulling out a common factor of 2. So I get 2 times... 3x plus 4. And this is all divided by 4. So what I have now is two factors on the top, the 2 and the 3x plus 4. And the 4 here can be thought of as 2 times 2. It consists of two factors, a 2 times a 2. So there is a common factor between these two. So I can cancel them out. I can say 2 into 2 goes once, and 2 into 4 goes twice. Just like I kind of did here. So what I end up with is that this is just simply 1 times 3x plus 4, which is 3x plus 4. And it is all divided by 2. I don't need to put the brackets around there. That's up to you. But uh, I'll just leave it as 3x plus 4 without the brackets over 2. Another thing that you should try and avoid is writing an equal sign. It was okay with these numerical versions, 
but here we're dealing with an algebraic version so we tend to write that it's identical to so we just write three lines there it's identical to this expression okay well in number two what you'll notice with this one is that I've got one term in the top consisting of two factors the 5 and the x but in the denominator here I've got two terms 10x squared being one term and minus 30x being the other term. So in order to simplify this I've got to factorize the denominator to create one term. So with this one then I'm going to say this is identical to just 5x and that factorizing the denominator well I've got a common factor here. I've got a common factor of 10 and also x. So if I put 10x there, open up a bracket and then I'm going to have an x inside to give me 10x squared and then minus 3 to give me minus 30x. Now the denominator consists of one term made up of several factors, the 10, the x and the x minus 3. But I notice then that the x will cancel into this x here. But 5 can cancel into the 10. 10 is made up of 2 times 5. So the 5's would cancel. So 5 into 5 goes 1. And 5 into 10 just leaves me with 2. So what I've got here is that this is identical to 1 times 1, which is 1, all divided by 2 times 1, which is 2, bracket x minus 3. I won't expand the bracket out, just leave it as 2 bracket x minus 3. It's a lot simpler like that. We've got one term now on the bottom as opposed to the two terms there. Now you might like to have a go at these two questions, 3 and 4, where you've got to simplify x squared plus 3x minus 10, all divided by x squared minus 25. And in number 4, x plus 2, all divided by x squared plus 7x plus 10. So if you'd like to have a go at those, I'll just give you a moment to pause the video. And when you come back, I'll take you through the work solution. Okay, welcome back then if you had a go. Now for this one here, we've got three terms on the top and two terms in the denominator. And so each of these has to be factorized. So just say this is identical to. And for the top one here, there is no common factor, but it does break down to two brackets. We're going to have an x and an x there. And then two numbers to multiply together to give minus 10. Well, that's going to be, say, plus 5 and minus 2. So that I get minus 2x plus 5x, which is the 3x there. And in the denominator here, this 2 is two brackets. It's called the difference of two squares. It's going to be x minus 5 multiplied with x plus 5. And now that I've got one term on the top, one term on the bottom, we've got two factors in the top, two factors in the bottom. And you can see I've got common factors here of x plus 5. x plus 5 into x plus 5 goes once, and x plus 5 into this x plus 5 goes once. So all I'm left with then is that this is identical to 1 times x minus 2, which is just x minus 2, and it's divided by x minus 5 times 1, or just simply x minus 5. And with number 4, x plus 2 all divided by x squared plus 7x plus 10. Well, the top doesn't factorize, so I'm just going to have to leave it as x plus 2. But the denominator does factorize, and so with this one, again, it's two brackets. We've got an x and an x, and a 5 and a 2, plus 5 times plus 2, gives me the plus 10 and you end up with 2x plus 5x which is the 7x. Now although I've got two terms on the top, if I think of putting that in brackets, I've now got one term. 
and you can see I've got a common factor now on both the top and the bottom of x plus 2. So I can say x plus 2 into x plus 2 goes once and into x plus 2 here it goes once. So what we're left with is that this is identical to 1, okay, all divided by x plus 5. And we don't need the brackets around the x plus 5, we can leave them off now. So I hope that's given you some idea then how we go about simplifying these kinds of algebraic fractions. Do not make the mistake then of cancelling say a 4 just into the 8 here or the x squared here with this x squared. You must factorise the top and the bottom and then cancel out any common factors. All right.